All right, I got a lot to cover and I don't want this video to be hella long, so I'm gonna get straight into the news. Somebody went on Wikipedia and added Niji Sanji to the official Black Company Wikipedia page in both English and in Indonesian. Or perhaps it's more accurate to say the Indonesian Wikipedia Twitter posted the definition of a black company with the Niji Sanji logo implied in the top left corner. So to everybody who is saying Niji Sanji isn't a black company, look at the definition. Well, guess what? The definition now includes Niji Sanji. Ask Wikipedia. And in even more good news, I just wanted to point out uh, this tweet from Doki suddenly coming to the realization that she doesn't have to ask permission to play games on stream. It's adorable. She can play Neopets on stream now without getting perms. And Garfield Kart 2. She's so excited. It's adorable. I love it. All the things, Doki. You can do all the things now. You're free. Now we move on from good news to some news that I have some mixed feelings about. So you may have heard the term sink the yacht floating around Twitter. And I'd compiled my own list and somebody else compiled their own list to corroborate what I was saying. And that's the idea that fans of Niji Sanji who are upset about the way Selene was treated have started mass unsubscribing from Niji Sanji talents. Anna, Ren, Shu, Reimu, Millie, Fulger, all have lost one to 4,000 subscribers basically overnight. And as a reference to prove that it's not just a general decline in viewership or that perhaps Social Blade, the site that I got this from, is somehow not tracking accurately, I just showed a picture of Doki Bird having her subscriber count go up 200,000 subscribers, which we know is accurate. So these numbers are accurate and we can confirm by looking at the Doki Bird account. And I'm not the only one who noticed this. As uh, Parrot4chan said, currently there is a subscriber revolt in all of Niji EN. And look at that. Anna, Alira, Millie, Finana, Petra, Rosami, Reimu, Maria, Scarla. Everyone is losing thousands in subscribers. The fans are revolting. Now, I posted this to Twitter to see what the community response was, because I have mixed feelings about this. Because on the one hand, I love these livers. I want nothing but success for them. But on the other hand, I want to punish Niji Sanji. And the only way to get Niji Sanji to give a shit and actually take action is to attack their wallets. But their wallets are directly tied to the talents that we love. It's very complicated and messy. And I don't know how to feel about this revolt. So the community definitely has strong opinions. So just going in order of the uh, most popular comments on this thread, Honestly, I think it's warranted. Literally nothing is gonna change with Niji unless they see considerable dents in their wallet. The next post saying, I do feel bad for the talents left at Niji Sanji, but at the same time though, it's impossible to support them without also supporting a company that has incredibly bad business practices. The next post saying, until we know for sure that they are part of the issue, then this is just reckless hate on part of the community. Speculation is fine, but acting on incomplete information is ridiculous. I will continue to support other livers until I see concrete evidence not to. The next post saying, vote with your wallet. In this case, it's ad dollars. The next post saying, taking it out on Niji Sanji livers is not it. There's no ambiguity that treating them poorly when they're already obviously in stressful situations themselves, just because your Oshi was also in a bad place is unhelpful to anyone, childish and outright malicious. And it's really hard to weigh those two things in my mind because you guys know from over a year covering VTuber news, I have always, always, always laid the blame on the company whenever possible. And I have always, always, always tried to support the talents whenever possible. My bias and my opinion has been made clear. And now my two strongest beliefs are basically head to head where I want to damage the company and I want to support the talents and I can't do both at the same time. I don't know how to feel about this sink the yacht movement. And for anyone not familiar with the term, there's been a long running joke in the community that Niji Sanji is just bleeding their talents dry monetarily so they can get a new yacht. So that's that.
I'm very curious to hear what you guys think about this situation. The next thing that I want to talk about is the scapegoating of Millie Parfait. It seems the mob needs a witch to hunt and they have found their witch and the latest victim of this witch hunt appears to be Millie Parfait. She has quote unquote been outed. This in reference to the fact that Doki, the alt account of Selen, referenced being harassed and in the Niji Sanji official statement, also referenced Selen being harassed, both saying that it was someone, it was one of the Niji Sanji livers. And people are pointing to this interaction where Selen was complaining about how management had privated the song and Millie had chimed in saying, that's so weird. I think anyone who uploads covers has never encountered anything like this before. Did you receive confirmation slash okay to Mane-san before uploading this cover? They really won't private something special like this as long as there was the okay. The song was really cute too. I hope things can be figured out ASAP. This post initially came out, a lot of people were unhappy with Millie because even though she ends her statement saying that she wishes the best for Selene and that she supports her and enjoyed the cover, people were taking this as a sort of implication that she is on the side of management and saying that Selene needs to go through proper authorization before she does anything. And that if she's not following the rules as laid out by Niji Sanji, then, you know, it's kind, kind of implying that it was on her if she didn't get the full okay to upload the song. Now, even if you disagree with Millie not 100% being on Selene's side and explaining to both Selene and the community at large that everything at Niji Sanji needs to go through 30 layers of red tape before you can do anything, that doesn't necessarily mean that Millie was the one actively bullying or harassing Selene to the point of quote unquote an attempt. Never specifying what the attempt was, but seeing as she was hospitalized, it's not that hard to guess. And because the mob largely believes that Millie was the root cause of all of this harassment, there has been this huge wave of harassment against Millie. People are also mad at Millie because there was a pretty popular clip rolling around where Millie went point by point, point through the definition of a black company in an attempt to defend Niji Sanji and say that they're not a black company. She actually loves working at Niji Sanji and she really wishes that people would stop in insulting the company that she works for. And apparently this is a controversial opinion to have, but this is my channel, I'll tell you whatever the fuck I think and I'll be honest with you every time, even if it's not popular. I think it's valid of Millie to enjoy working at Niji Sanji and I'm glad she enjoys working at Niji Sanji. I know everyone is angry and we all want a witch to hunt to blame and be angry at. Millie having a good time at Niji Sanji, having good management, not having a tough time following the rules, believing she's working toward working for a good company is an objectively good thing and we should be happy that she is happy. And just because you're upset at Niji Sanji doesn't mean it's inherently bad that she is enjoying her time. It's still objectively good that she is not being mistreated. If anything, the fact that you have talents like Millie who are having seemingly a wonderful time at Niji Sanji and having a great time with management and talents like Selene and many others who were having a terrible time with management Really, what that proves is the fact that there is likely favoritism at Niji Sanji. And this is an accusation that has been thrown around for literally years. And I feel like, if anything, this proves that there is favoritism. Millie is being treated well, that's fantastic. Selene and others are not being treated well, and that's terrible. And really, this isn't Millie's fault this is the company's fault for having blatant favoritism, of which there have been many examples over and over and over and over again. I mean, you can see it in the merch drops, how they consistently re release merch for their most popular waves and everybody else just kind of falls by the wayside. You can tell by the way they promote their company and their talents that they clearly favor some talents over others. All this clip proves is that Niji plays favorites and that's not Millie's fault. So I really got a point towards this meme uh, that Delta shared, pointing the blame towards Millie without any evidence or proof, speculating a non-existent beef between Millie and Selene, continue to spread bullshit information to others by encouraging them to also attack Millie, 
start harassing other Niji Sanji members who also have nothing to do with this. Y'all are fucking clowns. Penumbral out here saying it like it is, as he always does. You can't seriously hate Niji for what they did to Selene and then turn around and harass Millie for shit that there's not even any damn evidence she actually did. If you really care for the talents and are mad about what Niji did, don't perpetuate even more harassment, you absolute morons. And scrolling down to what this commenter at the bottom said, especially since any color put that in their statement, they want you to find a scapegoat. And yeah, no shit. They wouldn't have included that little tidbit in their notice. If you remember the Niji Sanji three-page statement about how uh, Selene was fully at fault, they said what Selene perceived as harassment was really just other livers telling her that she has to follow the rules and she interpreted it as harassment. Because boy oh boy do I make a quote unquote an attempt that gets me hospitalized over some friendly advice from my coworkers. That checks out. But I think what Niji Sanji is doing is they're saying that to imply that the harassment wasn't coming from management, which it more than likely was, and to evade the fact that they knew Selene was being bullied and they did nothing to stop it because they felt she deserved it. And they're really just throwing out facts that they know are gonna spur on a witch hunt that's going to deflect negative attention away from them and towards one of their talents, and it seems the talent chosen by the mob is Millie. You are all absolutely being played by both Niji Sanji and the angry Twitter mob to just spread more hate. And that is the last thing we need right now. And if you really need proof that uh, Millie and Selene genuinely appreciate each other and have appreciated each other for literal years, then let's look at the evidence, the actual evidence. Cause mind you, there's been no evidence that Millie harassed Selene, but you know what there is evidence of? Their friendship that has lasted for years. Roll the clip. Oh yeah, thank you. I have something for you, Selene. Okay, before you say anything, I should say some stuff first too. Okay. Uh, Millie, you're you're one of the most creative EN members here. You've done so many amazing streams and projects uh, that really unite the whole EN community. And yeah. honestly, I don't. And like sometimes you do these things while you're sick too. So I'm just like, what the fuck, Millie? Really go to sleep. And I'm like, oh my god, like Millie, really stop. You're you're sick right now. Stop. I'm <laughs> just rest. But she really, you really push through all of that to come up with such amazing ideas and amazing stream content. And also doing singing covers at the same time as well. Like the stuff you organize is fucking crazy so yeah happy birthday millie thank you Selene. hold on i have something for you too oh my god i was about to like una reverse you because that's the same thing i wrote for you <laughs> okay <laughs> that's right that's why i said it first here i go okay Selene. i know we haven't talked a lot but i like to say that you're one of the person who really loves their community a lot you work online and offline and sometimes even losing sleep you're the gateway of Niji and to the other communities. I cannot express how much thankful I am that you opened some of the opportunity for Niji for us. Oh my god, my English is bad. From Apex <laughs> tournaments, Overwatch, and just collabing with other VTubers. Besides your hard work, your laugh is always amazing. It's always a fun time when you're around. You never hesitate what you want to say to others, and you always try to warn us things when we ever messed up. When Ethereum started, you were the ones who keep telling us and teaching us the ropes, and we we're very grateful for that. Thank you for such being a wonderful person, Selene. Oh, Yeah! I just... Do you still doubt that these two are friends and they actually hang out to each other and they actually enjoy each other's company? Fine, I got more clips. I got a damn near infinite number of clips. Let's keep going. And then the entrance was like, you have to like ring a doorbell and be like, let me in. And then um, I was like, guys, don't ring the doorbell yet. Give me a moment. And I took my earbuds out and put it in. And I was like, okay, you can ring the doorbell. <laughs> so they're like, someone's like, let me in. And then um, Millie was like, don't worry, so then just hold on, hold on to my arm. So then I was just holding on to Millie's arm and cowering behind her. Rosie was like, I'll take the front. And I was just I was just like cowering behind Millie, just like holding on to her arm, be like, and I was like, please don't come near me. I will punch you, and it will, 
and I would not mean it, but please do not come. Please do not touch me. I was like, I was like saying that whenever we get to a rose, like, do not get close to me. <laughs> Look guys, Niji Sanji has dozens of talents. If two talents don't like each other, they're under no obligation to spend time with each other. So Len and Millie aren't even in the same wave. They have absolutely no obligation to interact with each other. And yet time and time and time again, Len and Millie have made so many memories together. There is so much watchable footage of them just having a great time. And does that mean that there was never disagreements between them? Does that mean they never butted heads? Of course not. But we do not have any evidence that Millie was harassing or bullying Selene. So this absolute witch hunt against her needs to stop. So if you guys would like to be a force of good instead of a force of hate in this world, go subscribe to Doki Bird and participate in her return stream and share the love. Because after all of the anger that I have witnessed over these past couple of days, don't you think a little bit of love is warranted? That's everything I had to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye guys. Do the